I always find it fascinating when I learn that we share things in common with people who lived long ago. Today, we now find ourselves in the same plight with the people from 500 years ago, menaced by a disease that seems to have the upper hand and is turning our way of life upside down. Take this painting, for example, by Salvatore Rosa, titled Humana Fragilitas, or Human Frailty. This painting is so powerful yet eerie because it documents death from the front line. During Rosa's time, every city in early modern Europe lost 10 to 50 percent of its population. While the Black Death, a medieval pandemic that was likely the bubonic plague, is generally associated with Europe, it actually started in Asia. What? Many scholars believe that the bubonic plague erupted in the Yuan Empire in 1331, killing over 90% of the Hebei province's population with deaths totaling over 5 million people. But how did the Black Death suddenly appear? Where did it come from? And how did it spread? It is said that the origin of the Black Death started at the eastern end of the Silk Road. The Silk Road connected China and the Far East with Europe from 130 BC to 1453 AD and was a vital source for everything from fabric and leather goods to spices and precious stones. It connected communities and allowed them to share innovations such as papermaking and printing technology as well as language, culture, and religious beliefs. But the medieval superhighway also had a darker, lethal legacy. It enabled one of the first great pandemics to spread along its route and eventually reach the edge of Europe, where it killed more than 50 what? million people between 1346 and 1352. The Egyptian scholar Al Masriki noted that more than 300 tribes all perished without apparent reason in their summer and winter encampments. He claimed that all of Asia was depopulated as far as the Korean Peninsula. What? Ibn al-Wardi, a Syrian writer who would later die of the plague himself in 1348, recorded that the Black Death came out of the land of darkness or Central Asia. From there, it spread to China, India, the Caspian Sea, and the land of Uzbeks, and then to Persia and the Mediterranean. Archaeological excavations reveal that Ezek Kol was a major Silk Road depot and has sometimes been cited as the origin point for the Black Death. It seems that traders from further east brought diseased fleas with them to the shores of Ezekiel. So how did the Black Death arrive in Europe? Hmm. Well, it all started in Kaffa. In 1344, the Golden Horde decided to recapture the Crimean port city of Kaffa from the Genoese, mm -hmm. Italian traders who had taken the town in the late 1200s. The Mongols didn't like this, so under Jenny Beg, they instituted a siege. The Mongols requested for reinforcements from further east. Unfortunately, the reinforcement also brought the plague to the Mongol lines. An Italian lawyer, Gabriele de Musis, declared that the whole army was affected by a disease which overran the Mongols and killed thousands upon thousands every day. He goes on to say that the Mongol leader ordered that the plague-infected corpses be placed in catapults and hurled into the city in hopes that the intolerable stench would kill everyone inside. This incident is often cited as the first instance of biological warfare in history. For more historical topics to impress people you barely know, please like, subscribe, and share.